Ooh, look at that. Oh, she's a beauty. Listen, will the Loop Deck CT improve your Logic Pro 10 workflow? That's what we're gonna talk about today. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music production, and music business. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content. So today, I am going to be digging into this Loop Deck. The good people at Loop Deck sent me over their Loop Deck CT to give you guys an honest review, and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think. I've been playing around with this, and I've been testing it out in a few different workflows. Today, I'm gonna focus on the Logic Pro 10 workflow um, and how I'm kind of using this in my music production setup as you know, the kind of controller console that it is. What is a Loop Deck console? It's pretty much a customizable controller that you can use to add shortcuts and different editing features pretty much to a button on this controller and it's fully customizable. It has touchscreen buttons and dials and it has a jog wheel um, and all these different things that you can use during your editing process. But it doesn't just stop there. It's not only for, you know, one or two apps. Like literally this device can be used for multiple apps, including Zoom, internet browsers, uh, multiple DAWs, you know, video editing, photo editing apps. It's a bunch of different apps that you can use this one device for, which makes it really, really appealing for a creative person, a creative professional that uses multiple apps such as myself. So it makes it really, really easy to have all of your editing tools, all of your shortcuts, all in one place on one device. And that helps you cut down time when you're, you're editing in your workflow. Hopefully you can save some time, crank out work a little bit faster and have happier clients. It also comes with its own software where you can download, create, and edit custom profiles to fit your personal workflow. So since we're talking about music production apps, it has custom profiles that you can download and pretty much go right ahead and start using it within these DAWs with their custom profiles. Of course, you can go in and kind of edit and customize it the way you want to, which is what I did with Logic Pro. The Loop Deck CT is compatible with Logic Pro 10, GarageBand, Studio One, Cubase, and Ableton Live. And that is at the time of me recording this video. Depending on when you watch this video, they may have released custom profiles for some of the other DAWs out there as well. So what has my experience been like using this pretty cool looking uh, Loop Deck CT device? To be honest with you, it's been it's been a little bit of an adjustment because I'm not used to having a device like this in my setup, in my workflow. I'm used to just having, you know, a MIDI controller, a drum machine, um, and I didn't even always have, have a drum machine. Like usually it was just like computer, MIDI keyboard, um, and that was it. And then all the controls would just be on that MIDI keyboard. But now, you know, my basic setup is computer, obviously kind of need that. Uh, you know, my, my keyboard and then the drum machine. And then both on the keyboard and drum machine, I can kind of control um, some of the transport features on the on DAW and Logic Pro, uh, which is really convenient. Um, but this device here takes it a step further because unlike my MIDI controller or drum machine, I can, you know, add specific shortcuts um, and editing tools that I use a lot in Logic Pro and I can add them to this device which makes it really, really convenient because I don't have to push a bunch of button keyboard combinations to do it. Literally, I can just hit one button and it's right there and then I can hit the next button and then that does something and I don't have to remember all these crazy insane shortcuts that I've memorized over all these years because that's all I've been doing. So this has been a little bit of a learning curve because now it's like okay everything is right here I can just press what I need to press right here and it's just a matter of remembering that I have this tool at my disposal. Um, so it's been pretty dope though just using it, um, setting it up wasn't too bad, wasn't too complicated. Um, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's kind of like a drag and drop, especially if they already have 
um, the downloadable custom profiles that you can get from the marketplace. Um, it makes it pretty easy and you can just kind of rearrange things however you want. Yeah, so let's dig into you know some of the things, some of the features that I love about um, the Loop Deck CT and then I'll talk about some things that I wasn't so crazy about. First thing, is that you can have multiple pages of shortcuts or you know whatever you want to assign to uh, you know to the buttons or to the dials and then it's easy to switch between multiple pages like you have you know you have numbered buttons here where you can switch um, from page one two three four and so forth or since this this section here is is touch screen as well um, and it even has like haptic stuff, but it's touchscreen, so you can literally just slide it or swipe it and it'll go to the next page. So that's pretty dope. Another thing that I love about the Loop Deck CT is that it has a dedicated undo, save, and return button. For those of you who edit anything, you know how much you use save. I know in Logic Pro, like it's a habit now. Like I'm hitting, I'm hitting save on here and I'm hitting command S on my keyboard just out of habit, like it's it's insane. Another feature that really stands out is this nice jog wheel. And I wish I could plug it in, but if I plug it in and then I try and show you on the camera, like I'm gonna rip everything apart with the cable. But it has this jog wheel, which is really, really nice and smooth. Um, and then this center part here is actually touchscreen as well. And you can assign certain things um, for the top, the bottom, the left, the right, the center. Uh, so that's pretty dope as well. So you have that. It makes it easier when you're scrolling through a session. In Logic Pro, you know, I may, I, I'm hurrying up, speeding up to another section to go make some edits in, in a bridge or, um, or a hook or a verse. I can quickly go to the end of the track, um, go straight to, you know, second verse pretty quick versus, you know, hitting a, a hitting a button on the keyboard, holding that down and then scrolling with the mouse. I can just do it all with the jog, jog wheel, which is pretty convenient. Another thing that I kind of previously mentioned is that it has haptic feedback, which is pretty cool with the touch screen. So, you know, when you touch it, you know, once you feel that vibration, you actually touch the button um, and it kind of takes that, that guesswork out of whether or not you actually hit a button on a touch screen that the button actually doesn't go down. Another thing I love about the Loop Deck CT is that it doesn't take up a ton of space on my desk. So it can easily sit, um, you know, on top of my, my keyboard. If I have my keyboard on my desk, it can easily sit there. If I don't have the keyboard on the desk, then obviously there's plenty of space um, to just set it there and it looks good and yeah, fits with everything else that's on my desk. And then the other thing I love about it is that Man, it just it just looks good. Look at it. I'm not mad at it, man. Like sometimes, like be honest. Sometimes you just get gear because it looks good. This is actually helpful, but it's a beautiful tool to add to the setup. All right, we talked about the things that I love about it. Now let's talk about some things that I feel like could be improved on. First thing that I noticed, and this really, really played a role in in the streaming, which I'll I'll do I'll do a separate video on how I'm using it with my streaming setup and kind of how I have things set up. I'll do that in a separate video. Um, but the first thing that I noticed was for Mac specifically, you cannot control the, my Elgato key light. So I have a couple Elgato key lights. You can't control them. Um, so there's no profile to install on the Loop Deck CT to be able to control those Elgato key lights, which I had a, a Stream Deck set up for my live stream specifically. Um, you can easily control, you know, the the brightness and all of that stuff. That's super duper convenient. Um, so not being able to do that uh, was, you know, it was a little, little disheartening. <laughs> but I did see recently, um, they had an update on their software and Windows machines, I believe, has a custom profile for Elgato lights. So hopefully it'll come down um, down the pipeline and Mac will soon have that, that feature, hopefully. Um, Cause yeah, your boy, your boy definitely needs that. The second thing that was like super weird. Um, so this little centerpiece here on the jog wheel. So you have the ability to use it as kind of like a, kind of like a mouse pad, um, a, like a touch screen mouse pad is weird, but it's cool in theory, but function wise, it's, it's like, 
it lags a lot. Like it's really slow and wonky and it's weird. It, and I, I wouldn't use it. That was huge for me because you know, you, you want your system to be responsive, uh, especially when you're trying to hurry up and, and move to a certain section of, of the song or a track. Um, you know, being able to have that responsive and, and be like real time is pretty important. So that was kind of a, that was, that was a negative for me. I didn't really like the, the, how that, you know, touchscreen mouse thing respond. And it's really small. So it's just, it's like a circular mouse pad. <laughs> it's, it's different. Another thing that I think would really, really add to this Loop Deck CT. And I don't know if they, they have it. I look, I tried to look on their website to see if they had something, but having some type of stand where you can kind of tilt this, like if you have something you can attach or something you could just sit it on, that'll kind of slant it on your desk. I think that would be super dope if that was included, um, just to, you know, to add a, a, a nice touch to it. It's kind of slanted a little bit just in the way it's made, but you know, I would kind of like it slanted a little bit more on my desk. Um, so I think that would be cool if they maybe added something, you know, just a couple pieces of plastic to just sit it on to slant it a little bit. Another thing I noticed, and this is specific to the Logic Pro 10 custom profile, is I couldn't find um, volume and pan to be able to sign to a, a button or a dial. Um, I don't, I, I looked in, in every folder, I didn't see it, um, but I feel like that's something that would definitely be useful because then you would kind of be able to, um, you can already control, you know, select which tracks you're on and things like that very, very easily. Um, so I think being able to assign pan and being able to assign volume uh, would be super helpful um, it, it, with with a track on a per track basis and kind of help with the, the mixing process. Um, so I felt like that was something that could definitely add to that, that Logic Pro custom profile. So overall, I feel like this is a very, very solid tool. It gives you a lot of flexibility, unlike some of the other devices that are just dedicated to streaming or just dedicated to um, you know, to music editing and things like that. Um, this is a device that you can get, depending on which, you know, softwares you use on a regular basis, um, you know, as long as it's supported, this is something that you can get and it just be that single device um, to control um, everything you need across all of the apps that you use. That's where the Loop Deck CT shines for me. So the price for the Loop Deck CT right now at the time of this video, um, is 549 US dollars. Um, so it's a little more on the expensive side as far as, you know, these kinds of, kinds of devices is concerned. Um, but when you think about, you know, the versatility and the amount of different apps you can use with this one device and, you know, it being able to simplify your workflow, I think it could really be valuable for a creative professional. So if you wanna check this out and get more information on it, I'll have a link in the description below. Just go ahead, check that out and let me know what you think. You know, do you feel like you need a controller like this for your workflow or are you cool with just a computer and a MIDI controller or just a computer and a mouse? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to like, share and subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for my videos on uh, my Final Cut Pro workflow using the Loop Deck CT and my Ecamm workflow workflow using the Loop Deck CT. Those will be coming soon. And yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.